Good morning everybody, happy Wednesday. It's probably not Wednesday at all when you're watching this. It is a hot, sunny day. I've got some strawberries because what else is a better summer snack than a massive bowl of cold, fresh strawberries? I'm definitely having a little bit of a nice home day today. I can show you my brand new chest of drawers that arrived for the master bedroom, they're absolutely beautiful. I'm also thinking of getting my Halloween decorations out of the garage just to see what I have because it's only a few weeks away where I actually want to start decorating. I've already got some autumnal and full bits out already which I will definitely show you after I have gobbled all of these strawberries up. I've also got some mail to open with you and one of these parcels is extremely exciting and it's also got to be an announcement for you guys because I've been working on something so utterly beautiful and oh I'm gonna show you in this video so if you don't want to miss out <laughs> on something that I've been keeping under wraps, which is gonna launch in a few weeks, then keep on watching. But for now, it's strawberry time. So as you can see, I have got some mail. Um, this one's arrived today. I am expecting a couple more things. I think I'm expecting some drawer organizers for my chest of drawers for like socks and pants. Don't even get me started on my underwear drawer. Weird thing to talk about on the internet, but I have got far too many socks and I'm gonna have a roofless kind of clear out at some point, maybe later, who knows? But either way, these are the parcels that I have so far today and let's open them together. I've just seen through like my window in my hall that I've just had a delivery. They've just put it outside. They haven't rung my doorbell. So I guess I'm gonna go grab that. What perfect timing for kind of mail time. I have no idea what it is. Okay, <laughs> it's actually my gusto box. Shocker, this is not sponsored. I actually buy these, so I'm just gonna pop that over here. Such a weird thing to not ring a doorbell for as well because it's food. I know it's all got ice packs in there, but either way, let's start off then with the first parcel that I am to open today. Oh, <laughs> um, this is such a nerdy thing that I've ordered. If anyone is into their indoor plants, you may understand my issue that I've been having for the past two years. I have had a fungal gnat infestation. I know, how, how absolutely glamorous of me to have that. But yes, all of my plants over here have had these teeny tiny little irritating black flies and they just end up floating all around the house and they basically there is a life cycle where the adults will then lay larvae or eggs into moist soil which is a problem when you're trying to keep your plants watered then they turn into larvae then they hatch and then it just keeps going so you end up with hundreds of these tiny little black flies now i have been dealing with these with these like little tiny sticky flowers that you can put into your plant pots. As you can see on there, <laughs> there is these tiny little black flies. These are called fungal gnats and they have been the bane of my life for a few years now and I've decided not for much longer. I've actually tried a few different things. I've tried the sticky flowers, which were actually a recommendation from my dad a few years ago, but also I've tried something called, I think it's called Lava Light, which is this white, kind of lava pebble gravel which you put on the top of your plants it's meant to stop them laying into the soil but it, i just find that it makes it really difficult for you to water your plants so that hasn't worked for me either it's time to bring out the big boys um these are called nematodes now nematodes are a biological 
weapon against things like fungal gnats. So these are a real life, um, like they're alive. <laughs> oh, that's the door again, hang on. I'm telling you, it's like all of the postmen around here know that I'm doing mail time. They're like, everybody, it's mail time. I swear that's what I'm expecting. Um, in a different parcel, I'm so confused. As I was saying, I have been putting off using nematodes or nematodes because they are basically little worms <laughs> that I don't think you would, I don't think we can see them I'm not sure I'm trying not to think about it too much if I'm honest but they will snack on these little larvae egg babies of the fungal gnats so these are little balls I have <laughs> they're like little tiny yellow balls and you spray them on top of the soil and apparently that activates the nematodes. If you want to learn more about it, if you're actually interested in it, go and Google it. But yes, I'm very excited about this. It's called Nema Nights. So if anyone else has got a fungal gnat problem, I think this is going to be the solution to all of my problems, but let's carry on with mail time. The one that I just got from Amazon is my sock and knickers. Do people call it knickers, pants, underwear? What do you call them? These are little organizers that I have got for me and my other half because we've just got some beautiful chest of drawers from Oak Furniture Land. And I just want them nice and organized. I want to get on top of my crazy amount of clothes that I have. And I've decided I do not want to own more socks or pants than will, that will fit inside one of these storage solutions. So I think there's 24 in each. So I'm allowing myself 24 pairs of socks and 24 pairs of pants. Even that's probably a little excessive, but I guess with socks, you've got sports socks, normal socks, uh, winter socks. I've personally got hiking socks. So yeah, I have got us three of these because I do already have one. But yeah, I'm very, very excited to organize socks and pants. Okay, let's move on to the exciting parcels. So here it is. <laughs> this is a very, very exciting parcel because inside here is a secret that I've been keeping from you. I know, this is the final sample. So it's the final product of something I've been working on with a wonderful company called the Upturned Cauldron Company. And when I tell you, I could not be happier to be unboxing this today. <laughs> Here it is, oh my God, the smell. Spoiler, the smell when I've opened this box has just absolutely hit me in the face. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> I have been working on this for months with the wonderful team at the Upturn Cauldron Company and I'm so excited to be showing you. Autumn is upon us. Candle burning season is almost here. Ooh. Ah, <laughs> I'm so excited, I don't even know what to say. Firstly, let me unravel. I can't talk, I'm so excited. Here it is, this is a candle and this might be my dream candle. And I know I'm very biased because I have worked on this for a long time now, but I genuinely think this candle is beautiful in every single possible way. Firstly, the size of it, it's really beautiful. It feels really weighty. It feels up there, it feels luxurious. It feels premium. I love the jars that we have chosen. I went for this beautiful kind of aged amber, like brown glass color because I just think there's something so magical about the old school kind of vintage apothecary bottles. So I wanted a magical vibe that was like, had to happen. Now this is a singular wick candle and it has a really good burning time. I think it's over 30 hours that this can burn for. And don't get me started on this label. Let's just talk about it. So welcome to the Enchanted Garden. Oh my God, it's so shiny that it's really hard to show you. My name is here at the top, Cherry Wallace. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. It's so, so pretty. So these have been lovingly hand poured 
here in England by the beautiful, wonderful and talented team at the Upturned Cauldron. Definitely go check them out. They do some wonderful things. But the label is so pretty. Let me just read you the description of my candle that is coming out very, very soon. It says, beyond the weathered gate, the air fills with the sweet scent of Frisia. The floral notes dance on a gentle breeze, guiding you deeper into the embrace of the magical garden. You guys know me, if you've been watching for a long time, that I love plants, I love herbology, so it was an absolute no-brainer to make this themed towards something planty, but also keeping it magical. So that's how we came up with the Enchanted Garden. Now the scent, when I tell you, I went through so many different fragrance oils to pick the perfect one. And I also tested it on all of my friends and family and asked for their honest opinion. And all of them gravitated towards the one that I loved the most. So I'm really happy about that. So I am pretty, confident that a lot of you are going to love the scent of this candle because to me it's an 11 out of 10 smell it smells so good now if you are interested in getting in my opinion one of the nicest candles of all time these are going to be released on october 1st that's right the first day of spooky month makes it very special. These are gonna be launched on the Uptown Cauldron website. So make sure that you're following not only myself, but also the Upturned Cauldron over on Instagram to be the first to know what time these launch because they are gonna be first come first served. There is a limited amount of these. There is only 200 of these available. When they are gone, they are gone. But I gotta tell you, you're gonna want one. They smell so good. Now, the other parcel that I have, is so exciting <laughs> because this is actually a job that I have to do today. Um, oh my God, these are stunning. <laughs> oh, I have to show you these. So inside here, oh my God, the foiling. Can we just take a moment? Oh, here they are. These beautiful inserts. These are soft touch, fully foiled cards and these are going to be put with every single purchase of the candle and I am going to be signing these today in gold. So you are going to get a hand signed card of authenticity from me. And as you can see, these are 100% soy wax, just to let you know, a 30 hour burn time. They're hand poured here in England and it's a freesia and floral bouquet fragrance and they are limited to 200. So there we have it, I better get signing. We are an hour or two later. <laughs> I finally signed, I think I signed about 400 of these in the end, even though there's only 200 available, just in case. <laughs> um, so I've packaged these up and I'm gonna send them down to the Upturn Cauldron team. And it means that they can start being packed. I'm very excited about that. I feel like my hand, is about to drop off. <laughs> anyway, um, I am gonna show you my new chest of drawers that arrived this week from Oak Furniture Land. So let me take you upstairs. Okay, oh my God, the sun is so bright in here. If you hear a noise, I have a fan on. It is so hot today. Anyway, just for some context, if you haven't watched any of my recent-ish vlogs, my other half moved in a few months ago and we are making over the master bedroom of this house. And <laughs> what have we done so far? We've bought a brand new king size bed and mattress. We've bought brand new curtains, which are absolutely beautiful. But the recent purchase are chest of drawers. Here they are, and they're so beautiful. They match the wood of the doors in here, as well as my bed and the side tables. We do need to chock this up a little bit to make sure that this gap 
is like squished together there's definitely not meant to be a seam here but it just needs lifting up a little bit but either way they're absolutely stunning and I've bought these little drawer organizers which you would have seen me open earlier so I've put these in the top drawers so that we can put all our pants and socks in there and then I don't know if you'll be able to see this very well because I'm so backlit but we bought these like velvet green curtains it's like a bottle green so beautiful and what else have we done in here so far we've got this light shade which matches the curtains and that's pretty much all we've done so far we do want to paint in here so i need to do the feature wall and then we're going to do a gallery wall and recently i bought this for the gallery wall these are real taxidermy butterflies i'm assuming they had died from natural causes but they're absolutely beautiful so i thought that would bring a little bit more nature to this room because it's definitely going to be a nature vibe with all of the greens and i'm hopefully going to get some plants in here too so yes that is the master bedroom update i gotta say my house really needs a good tidy upstairs i did it downstairs yesterday so everywhere looks nice down here but oh my god my hair doesn't can you believe I curled this this morning? Like, oh, I don't know about anyone else that has long hair and curls it, but I find that in the summer, the curls just do not hold. And I'm finding it such a waste of time to even style it. <laughs> Spoiler alert, it's actually the next morning now. <laughs> My boyfriend came home early, which is so rare because uh, he usually works quite late. So I took advantage of that and we went to Chiquito's, which is a Mexican restaurant, which was delightful. And then we went to play some arcades, which was really, really fun. So welcome to the next day. I've put my hair in a really high pony because this heat wave, it just isn't it. It's nearly 30 degrees and oh, I'm melting to the point I want to go and hide in my car with the air conditioning, which I might do because I actually have a few errands to run today, which I'll talk more about in a moment. But I just got some mail, which was a pre-order, which I made months ago and completely forgot about. It's magical mail as well. And then let me just show you, let's open it. Okay, I've balanced you on a shelf. But yeah, this has just come out. Um, I must have pre-ordered this in like spring or something. Oh, it looks gorgeous. So this is the Harry Potter Herbology Magic book. And it says botanical projects, terrariums and gardens inspired by the wizarding world, which is quite exciting. You guys know that I like plants and all things herbology. I mean, look how cute this book looks. I'll just do a little Oh, air plants. That's exciting in like a little cage. Do quite like an air plant. Got loads of loads of instructions of projects to do, which I think is quite fun. So I'm definitely going to have a better flick through that later. I believe this cost around £20. I'll link it down below. It is from Amazon. I'm sure you can get it plenty of other places as well. But I just thought, you know what? that is very much down my diagonally so there we have it right today's plan of action i need to go to b m because i've run out of really exciting products um bin bags i need some more laundry detergent um i need some laundry smelly granules you know what i'm talking about so i'm basically going for cleaning products and then i do need to go to a food shop to get a couple of bits so i will show you what i get when i get back and something that i was going to do yesterday but i'm actually going to do today is i've just popped into my garage this is where my treadmill lives now ignore the beds and mattresses that are here they are going to a brand new home soon but i thought it was about time that i dug out all of my Halloween things. I'm not necessarily gonna put my Halloween decor up just yet, but I want to get it out. I wanna see what I've got. Um, so that is the plan of action today as well. So I'm just gonna get the boxes down. Here we are, we're in. And I completely forgot about my autumn cushions. These are definitely coming out this year. They're like little autumn leaves. This stuff's more for Halloween. I've got my spooky 
little snow globe with bats, which is so cool. <laughs> I've got all my pumpkin carving things, some garland, uh, my spooky bat cushion, which I bought last year. I believe they do these in pink now from HomeSense, so he's going to be coming out in a few weeks. And then I've got all of my pumpkins, all different shapes, sizes, colours. I've got some leftover candles, uh, a sweetie jar. So yes, that is my autumn stuff. I do have room for a few extra, you know, Halloweeny bits. Am I just enabling myself? Yeah, probably. Right, let's make our way to b and I think that's where I'm going to head first, which is honestly one of my happy places. And whenever I need anything cleaning related, that is my go-to place. That and Home Bargains, very good, very cheap, very happy times. <laughs> I've just arrived at the little retail park. This place has my favorite Marks and Spencer's food hall as well, but I'll be back very soon because I'm not going to take my camera in. I'm not feeling confident today with vlogging in public. It's really weird. I can vlog in public when I'm with someone else. As soon as I'm on my own, it takes a lot of like mental gearing up for it. So I'm not going to do that, but be right back and I'll show you what I get from being there. <laughs> I've just got home. Um, let me show you what I purchased firstly from B&M. Favourite bin bags, which I'm sure you're all thrilled to know. Um, the five, no, the 50 litre... Uh, drawstring ones from B&M are the ultimate bin bags. You don't have to tear them off. They just slide out of the roll so you don't end up ripping them. You can't tell me that there's better bin bags than these. So I got two of these. They're two pounds a roll, by the way, you get 18. I did also get, because I am the biggest fangirl of Stacey Solomon and Airwick, I'm just obsessed. They've come out with another fragrance. I'm assuming this is 2023's winter one and it's called cozy cottage and it's frosted roses and snowberry and i was like well i might try this in our bedroom what else did i get okay look i know that i've been talking about halloween since august but christmas is already here in september i'm pretty sure it's been here since august actually but i'm not mad about it because i found aero bubbles candy cane like hello can we just uh, it says it's vanilla flavor so i guess it's going to be like peppermint and vanilla very excited about those and i know that my other half won't steal them because he doesn't like mint <laughs> speaking of my other half i did buy him something which i shouldn't have bought him because it's a bit naughty and it's not a special occasion but he's obsessed with these gillian shells and i'm quite partial to one of these so i thought we could eat these this weekend whilst watching the little mermaid <laughs> because we've been waiting for it to come out on disney plus um and we're gonna watch it so i thought you know sea themed chocolates um i'm probably gonna hide those until we watch it though i got fairy sprinkles oh that is all i could smell did i get myself a white chalk dip Yes, I did. Also got some beans with sausages because why not? And then I got some little things like paracetamol and chewing gum, which isn't that exciting. And then um, I did get what I originally came out for, which was way more laundry detergent because I'm having a big laundry day today and I'm absolutely running out of this stuff. Um, I can never find these in B&M. I don't know why they don't do them. I think it's home bargains that do, but I actually found these in Poundland today. So I've got the Coconut Bliss and Tropical Lily and I'll use these with any like fabric softener mainly the comfort ones are my go-to's what did i get for lunch not me trying to hide all the naughty things first um, <laughs> okay so i've got a hoisin duck wrap this is one of my go-to's my main favorite from mns is the pesto sun-dried tomato and mozzarella wrap but they're sold out because it's so good and then i got some little salt and vinegar combo mix I got myself a little lemon muffin. This isn't for lunch, but I got some of their best ever eclairs and they're not 
they're not joking. I've spoke about them before, they're very good. I did get some healthy-ish things, got some grapes, got a massive pack of ham, tomatoes, uh, some la pack. Uh, I also got a little chocolate milkshake because um, I'm not being healthy at the moment. You may have understood the assignment. Uh, I've got some cheese as well. So there you have it. Now I'm going to go and put all this away, eat this, and then I've got not gonna lie I've got a lot of editing to do today so um, I basically still edit my own vlogs so I'm gonna edit probably this video and then I'm thinking of getting those autumnal cushions out which I'm very excited about and then it's the weekend and I guess this weekend when you're watching this all I'm doing this weekend is cleaning my house downstairs I've already done this week but upstairs is so messy. I basically went away on holiday the other week. Um, it's like a family thing. So clothes are just everywhere. And when clothes just get out of hand, all the rooms get out of hand. Uh, I've also got chest of drawers to organize. So yeah, I'm just gonna have a really nice homey weekend. And I'm really looking forward to just doing nothing. Nothing, oh, reading as well. I'm slowly getting back into reading. I've even pre-ordered a Kindle because I thought it would encourage me to read a bit more. I know you guys are going to think I'm mega crazy because I've got an entire bookcase full of books, but just fancy a Kindle, so treat yourself. Right, let's get this stuff in the house because it's hot, 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 though it's cold in this car, to be fair. Okay. Oh, I've just put my indicator on. <laughs> it's time to add a little bit of autumn love to my house because I'm going to manifest that it gets cooler, the leaves get crunchier. It's all I want if I'm honest. But yes, I bought these last year in the hopes to use them this year and I'm finally doing it. So I'm just unpackaging them. I don't know why they have so many of these tiny little plastic tags punctured into the cushions. How many do they want? I swear they've put like five in each, right? Oh, they're so squishy and soft. But can you see what I mean? There's like a little hole here because they've put the little plastic things through. It's very frustrating. I am gonna tear these labels off. I think they're the rip ones. Yep. But yeah, so here's the little green one, which is definitely gonna go perfectly in this lounge. Like, look, cute little green leaf. And we've got an orange one, a yellow one. Okay, the sunshine does need to go now because girls ready for cozy blankets. So I think I'm gonna put the yellow leaf on this green chair. They're so soft, very, very cute. And then I've put the green and the red one over here. <laughs> Haven't plumped my sofa, please excuse it looking a bit squishy. And then this is left over. And I was thinking of maybe using this as a coaster because it's like the perfect size. And then I just have my little pumpkin and mushy and my little frog that Rachel bought me last year. So adorable. Then on my bookcase, <laughs> I have a little bit of Halloween hiding, just waiting to come out. <laughs> and I've also got my autumnal blankets out too. And uh, I'm in love with this one. This one is from Asda and it's just got a load of kind of fuzzy mushrooms, like toadstools printed over it. And I am absolutely obsessed. It's kind of like the viral ghosty one. I really like that. And I love the colors of this one. I don't know where this one's from. I got it maybe last year or the year before. And then over here, I have got my mushy lamp, which is so cute. But yeah, I'm feeling like we've started decorating quite well for autumn. Oh, and just like that, it's time for me to settle down in my office. I've got editing to do, I've got thumbnails to do, I've got other little bits of admin to do. I think I'm gonna be working quite late tonight as I'm a little bit behind on work this week and it's Saturday tomorrow and I really wanna make sure that I've just got everything sorted. Um, totally unrelated because I've just seen them on my desk. I have to show you these. These are made by someone that I'm a big fan of. 
You know these little guys, the little acorns that I am absolutely obsessed with by an artist called Rach Makes. If you don't know what I'm talking about when I say acorn obsession, I actually have a collection of them in here. So these are the Halloween ones. I've been collecting these for years. Look, there's a little Santa acorn. There's a little Christmas pudding. <laughs> um, and this all started from the original acorns that she did like this little acorn babies she's even gifted me um a golden acorn because i love her acorns so much <laughs> but she also makes some really other cute artworks and recently over the last few months she has come out with these tiny little frogs <laughs> in flower pots this is the first frog in a flower pot um then there is this one <laughs> Like they're all in different kind of poses and they're so cute. There was, I think there's three to collect. Um, and I love them so much and they live on my desk and they're so, so cute. I will make sure to link Rach Makes down below. She's one of my favorite small business artists. And I've just noticed on the bottom of this froggy, it's got her little logo. So that's very cool. I did not realize that, but yes, I've collected all of her little frogs. <laughs> anyway, I have got to go because I need to go and do editing and all of my little worky bits before the weekend. But if you have got this far in the video, firstly, thank you so much for watching. Secondly, make sure you're following me and the Upturn Cauldron over on Instagram. I cannot wait to launch our collaboration of the candle. Like I literally just sat here <sighs> smelling it, looking at it, like it's beautiful. Um, ah, just very excited. I'm very proud of it. It's It's been a while since um, a project has come to fruition and I'm just so in love. So I cannot wait for you guys to get your hands on one of these candles if you are speedy enough remember there's only 200 available on october 1st if you follow us we'll let you know what time we're releasing them nearer the time but keep your eyes peeled um by following us but yes i'm gonna go now if you've enjoyed this vlog please do give it a thumbs up for me i will be replying to as many comments as i can and i will speak to you very soon i hope you'll have a lovely weekend or week or whatever day you're watching this who is texting me. It is my other half. I better go reply. I will see you guys soon. Bye.